All right, we're back with Dr. Anna shooting through questions for body comp challenge and a little bit of just kind of general nutrition information as well and how it will affect your workouts uh, and well-being. So there's been a lot recently about this uh, documentary that came out on um, basically a plant-based diet and it's called The Game Changers if you haven't watched it on Netflix. Can you just kind of give your general commentary on things that you've been hearing about it and what your thoughts are on a purely plant diet? Yeah, great question. So yes, the Game Changers documentary has ruffled a lot of feathers and created a lot of buzz um, in the media. But when you take a look at the science and the research in that area, there's a lot of misinformation in that documentary and it's extremely misleading. So I don't recommend that people use that as a source for their nutritional guidance okay. just because how it's produced and how the research is portrayed is very kind of cherry picked um, and it can be very misleading. So in general, I recommend having a lot of plants and so having a plant-based diet, but I also think that the healthiest diet possible does include some animal foods. Um, so if, you, if you're interested in more of the research, feel free to shoot me a message and I'm happy to send yeah. over some papers or you know talk about it with people in depth. But in general, I don't think it's a reliable source for um, you know, for nutrition information. Um, and especially for building strength, you're looking at a, a lot of um, important um, amino acids as well as other nutritional factors in animal products that are gonna be helpful to optimizing body composition and building muscle and strength. Um, and it's not that you can't get all of your protein from plants, it's just not as efficient um, and there's a lot of other things that need to be taken into consideration. Gotcha. So if you had a general idea of like the percentage breakdown in a diet like that, if you're going to go primarily plant-based, how much would you suggest is probably some meat? Um, so like how much meat should someone include? Yeah. So I, it really depends on the person okay. um, and the age. So anyone that's older is going to have higher protein needs, gotcha. but making sure that you're getting at least, you know, anywhere between like 0.25 grams um, per pound of protein, um, for each meal, just to gotcha. make sure you're stimulating that muscle protein synthesis. Now, if you are eating plant sources of protein, you're gonna need more protein than if you're eating animal-based because um, there are more essential amino acids in that animal protein gotcha. than you're not gonna find in the plant protein. So, you know, a lot of um, right recommendations are up to 2.6 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Um, wow. for the plant-based protein. So again, you're having to consume more calories, which may not be beneficial for body composition. Sure. You need to wow. eat so many more calories just to meet your protein goals.